Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here with the next topic. Uh, in fact, the very first topic of this digital logic and design course, which is the Boolean algebra. Boolean algebra. Okay. This is our very first topic. So let me write down the very basic definition of Boolean algebra. It is the set of rules used to simplify. Used to simplify what? Uh, given logic expression without changing its functionality this is a very basic definition of this boolean algebra as you have uh, studied the ordinary algebra in which a very long equation is given or a very long relation is given and you simplify that by using uh, certain formulas of algebra a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab for example so similarly here we will have some rules to to sum up or to simplify a given expression which will have the same meaning the simplified version will be a very compact and the small one and will have the very same meaning to that larger expression as we will see in the examples but before moving on to the uh, rules of this boolean algebra we need to know what does a binary operator mean binary operator an operator you know the meaning of an operator is what to carry out an operation an operator carries out an operation and this binary mean this stands for two so this operator stands for operation and this binary stands for two let us explain uh, what does this binary operator mean now? So the proper definition, let us say these two are any two, A and B, we have got any two numbers or any two integers or variables or anything. And this star, let's say, is the binary operator. So this means an operation is carried out on A and B and it results in what? In C. A and B, an operation is carried out, results in C. Now for this star to be a, to be a, a binary operator, it has to, to, uh, to follow a rule. To, and that rule is what? If this A B and C belongs to the same set, then this star, as here mentioned, this operator will be a binary operator if the resulting, if the resulting value belongs to the same set where these two operands, the numbers on which the operation is carried on, belongs. For example, the set of natural numbers we have, the set of natural numbers is what? Is 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Alright? This is the set of natural numbers. So if we go for plus addition, add any two numbers. So if I say 1 plus 2, so this would be equal to? 3. Now 1 is in the set of natural numbers, 2 is again in the set of natural numbers, 
and 3 is again in the set of natural number which makes this plus a binary operator when talking of natural numbers. If we have, if we talk about minus, so 3 minus 2, in that case you can say that 1 belongs to the set of natural numbers, it is a binary operator, but it is not for all. If we go for a sm uh, smaller minus a larger value, well, uh, let's say minus 2, 2 minus 4 is a minus 2, so minus 2 does not belong to the set of natural numbers, which means that this minus is not a binary operator with respect to the set of natural numbers. Alright? In this Boolean algebra, we have two binary operators, which you'll be studying in detail, but let me write it down. Two binary operators in Boolean algebra are what? They are this or operation plus and the and operation, the dot. Okay? These are the two binary operators in our Boolean algebra. Now, moving on, this concept of a Boolean algebra was given by George Boole or George Boole or whatever you call him. George Boole in 1854 I guess let me confirm in the book 1854 yes 1854 so this was a little uh, basic introduction to this boolean algebra but what if we are asked a proper definition of boolean algebra a proper mathematical definition so, let me quote it down from the book, the definition of Boolean algebra. So, this is quite a mathematical definition of Boolean algebra. That Boolean algebra is an algebraic structure defined on a set of elements B together with two binary operators or and and provided the Huntington, Huntington postulates are satisfied. So what is this Huntington? This basically is the name of a scientist or a mathematician, E. V. Huntington, written in this book, who gave these postulates in 1904, I guess. No, 1938. 1938. He gave these postulates which define Boolean algebra. So we will define Boolean algebra through these Huntington postulates. Now what are these Huntington postulates? So let me write them down for you. Huntington postulates. These postulates for defining Boolean algebra uh, are not specific. That these are not the only postulates that I'm going to list down. These are not the only postulates that are used to define Boolean algebra. There are many others, but we'll follow in our book. So in our book, we have these postulates for proving Boolean algebra rules. So the first postulate is closure, the closure property. Number first is the closure, closure with respect to both the R operation and the AND operation. Now what does this mean? So closure means that again the answer belongs to the same set to which the two operands belong as we discussed in the binary operators. The second Huntington postulate is identity. 
that an identity exists an identity element exists with respect to both the or operation and the and operation the identity with respect to plus is what is one it's not one. So the identity, so the identity with respect to the or operation, the or operation means the plus is what? It is zero. And this identity implies what? That you add any x, you or it, you or it with this identity or the reverse of it it will give you again the same x okay and in case of the and operation dot represented by dot one is the identity which means if you and anything with one or you and one with anything one way or the other it will give you again the same value all right all right the third one what is the third one commutative that all the rules of boolean algebra follow this commutative law with respect to both the or operation and the and operation how with respect to the or operation x plus y let's say equals y plus x and with respect to the and we say x and y equals y and x all right okay so the fourth postulate is of distribution distributive let's say and what is distributive the or operation is distributed over the and operation and the and operation is distributed over the or operation which means what x or y into z equals x or y and it with y or z okay and the next one states that x ended with y or z equals is the same as x ended with y first and then or with x uh, ended with z all right this is the fourth huntington postulate the fifth is the uh, fifth is about the complement is about the complement that for every x belonging to a set b any number belonging to any set there must exist another x complement belonging to the set b such that x ended with x complement is 1 and x or sorry x or with x complement is 1 and x ended with x complement is 0. This is the fifth one. Complement is what? Complement is basically the opposite. For 0 in BLD, for 0 the complement is 1 and for one the complement is zero and the last postulate the sixth postulate is unequality i could say that for any x y be two elements for any set b for any set b there exists at least two elements x 
and y at least two such that x is not equal to y such that x is not equal to y that there must be at least two different elements in the cell so these are the six huntington postulates we will be using them in the rules of the boolean algebra and as i said earlier these are not only the ones from which we derive those rules we can derive it from many others but in the book these are mentioned all right you will be seeing that i'm using again and again the name of said b now what is this b actually what is this b what do you think is this b hmm? this b actually stands for binary and in binary, we have only two digits, that is 0 or 1. The 0 represents a low state or a 0 volt state, whereas this 1 represents a high state or, may, or mostly a 5 volt state. So in this course, the Digital Logic and Design course, we would be dealing with zeros and 1s only. See you very soon. Uh, inshallah until then take care of yourself and everybody around you thank you very much goodbye